West Harbour play good attacking rugby and here's an example as Ben Murray turns down a probable three points in favour of five. Alini Nagungatau obliges and the Pirates lead Warringah 7-0. But after two penalties and a try to towering lock Ben Adams, Warringah grab back the lead at 11-7 and then push it out to 16-7 as a beautifully worked rap move sets up fullback Dave Felshear, who still has some work to do, but scores his sixth try of the season. Trailing 21 to 7, the Pirates continue to play an attractive brand of running rugby. Maguire Totola starts a weaving run that's finished off by Sean Trawick with a juggling touch and seven points. Before they forget about the other side of attacking rugby, defence, and Elliot Foyles fools them all and we're in a home by a 21 point margin. A double to foils in a five tries to three win for the Rats and a promise of better things to come for West Harbour. Parramatta have been the surprise package of the season in more ways than one. They've claimed some great wins, but it's the way that they play that's attracting even more interest as Tui Fafasila shows. And with Parra leading 17 nil, Eastern Suburbs begin to run down the scoreline. Heath Tessman with the first of his two tries, but two yellow cards, one each, it opens up some space on the field for Apa Mafu to evade some attempted tacklers before Tessman is the right man in the right spot and East lock up the scores at 14 all. But the two Blues aren't done yet and when fullback Tom Wood scores, it's 24 all. But East come home with a late try and a penalty for a narrow five point win. It's a big scare for the home side and an eight try feast of running rugby, but two bonus points for Para makes it a reasonable afternoon's work at Wallara. The previous weekend, Eastern Suburbs disposed of Eastwood by 30 points and the Woodies faced Gordon without star fly half Pierre Holler and captain Hugh Perrett. But it didn't seem to matter as Nick Batcher sets up Mike McDougall for a 24-15 lead over Gordon. And when blindside flanker Gareth Palamo counters with a great run, McDougall is there again for his second try and Eastwood shoot out to a 31-15 lead with 20 to go. Gordon strike back with a late try to Lucas Simpkin. But it's too little too late and the Woods are home at TG Milner. A four-try bonus point to the Woods, an impressive return to form after their last result. Gordon left winless in their last three games. Second place Southern Districts hosted third place University. What looked like a certain scoring chance for Uni became a runaway try for Souths when Lester Salanoa intercepted. And Rowan Saifaloy finished the breakout for the Rebels to lead 13-3. Uni's young side rallied and rolled their way to the line and after 17 phases with the forwards, Peter Beetham sent a bounce pass to Tom English. But Nicky Price all but wrapped up the win for Souths with a try with less than five minutes to go. But Uni with an important try to Trent Dyer in injury time to claim a bonus point. But Southern Districts rewarded for their unpredictable attack with a three-point win over University, whose combinations, especially in the forwards, are really beginning to click. And in other results, Manly tested the whole way by Penrith and Northern Suburbs keep Randwick winless. And so to the table after round five and the top six teams beginning to emerge from the pack with Manly one-point leaders over Southern Districts who lead Eastwood and Eastern Suburbs by two, with Sydney University and Parramatta running fifth and sixth. But that table bears little resemblance to how the finals would be contested based as it is on club championship points. Sydney University would lead, followed by Eastwood, East. Manly, North's come into the top six, Parramatta out, and Southern Districts in the final spot.